Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to the Lotion's Auto of the Wind Wake HD. And now, I'm going to just quickly check the auction again. Because we heard of a sale that allows you to sail faster. And I want it. I, I just don't know how much it's going to cost. Which is the real problem. So let's find out if that's actually going to show up. Okay, and the item is a treasure chart again. I might just get the treasure chart as well while I'm here. Whoa, that's another treasure chart because that's 60 rupees. Okay then, um... I have some rupees to spend. Sixty-six. Okay, fifty. Two seconds. One, two, three. I don't know how much it actually needs to stun them. Okay, three works. And that's a lot less rupees every time. What's with this kid? And just how much is of an allowance does he get, I wonder? Maybe it, the stun time lasts longer depending on how much extra you put in. I don't actually know. I'm just stunning whenever I need to. 38 seconds. One, two, three. What? What's going on here? Just how filthy rich is this kid anyway? I'm guessing that 20 would, wouldn't stun them. Time is running out, dear friends. Link is so happy. Okay, 20 seconds left. 159. Nobody's even had a bid since I started putting in my own bid. But I mean, I'm, I'm making it go a, a lot more, but at least I have guaranteed my victory. Is much time left? Probably 10 seconds? No, a bit more than that. 15? I don't know. Five seconds. Uh oh, I need to mash that button. 4.20. Perfect. 196. Stun everyone for the last 420 seconds. And sold. 196 rupees to me. That was probably more expensive than I would like, but still. I mean, I, I get it, that's what all that really counts. Rupees are infinite anyway. <laughs> that's how that works, right? Also, don't break these pots. You little weasel! Well, thank you so much for coming into my home and breaking my high-priced faces. Vases. I don't know. Nobody actually knows. If you break any more, I assure you that I shall not let it go lightly. No, sir. Not at all. I shall require compensation. Because if you break these too much... And by too much, I mean all of them, apparently. Well, so apparently, no. Okay, then. <laughs> Maybe if you... Wait, just one moment. Oh, oh I... Guess if it was just if you're trying to leave. Do you think you can just break someone's faces and leave without paying them for them? I must chortle you, chortle at your. I don't even. What is that word? Navet. Ho ho. Those happen to be extremely high class bone china vases that run at a minimum of ten rupees each. That's not that expensive. Most assuredly, I shall now accept compensation for them. Let me see now, that comes to a total of 70 rupees. I shall accept your payment. So yeah, I just lost a bit of rupees just because of proving a point. When you break someone else's vases, it's only natural that you compensate them for the loss. You, my boy, are in the wrong because of your destructive tomfoolery. And now, because of you, I'm going to be even richer. 
And I was quite rich before. The world is a cruel place, isn't it? Don't stand around looking like you've been swindled. Be on your way. Okay. I have been swindled though. To be fair. Actually, maybe it was him who was swindled. I don't know. One of us was swindled. But now, I think there's also a pot. Well, that pot there always has a blue rip in it. Whenever you go in and out of a building. But also down here are some pots. We can break. I think occasionally you can get a yellow rupee. No, just that one. That one's the yellow rupee. Okay. So you can you can grind, technically, but I... Nah, don't do it. <laughs> it's not It's not worth it. Okay, let's try auction again. Okay. I wish I could skip a lot more of this text. I mean, I can. Kind of. But also, I can't skip this cutscene here. Looking at all the faces of people... ...who want to bid. A fabulous swift sail! Look at it. It is precious, quite dear, very valuable. Yes, yes, yes. 100 rupees starting off. That's actually not the worst, so. It's a pretty good start. 103. 54 seconds left. Um, one, two, three. Just gonna stun everyone. They don't seem to increase the amount very much, but they stop the, stop the timer each time, so. so it's probably also faster to just do your own bid. Yes, 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 a current top bidder is the wor worthy link. The bid is 134 rupees. Do I hear another bid? Come on, my dear people, let loose, let loose. Which means that somebody's immediately gonna do it. 137. 38 seconds left. One, two, three. But he's just an innocent little boy. How do you, how do I let him trick me like that? I don't know. I am the hero. I am. That means I trick people, and am not innocent. I guess. I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna bid automatically. But that's okay, because now it seems like a perfect time. Ah. Uh, that should be good, 199. <laughs> How did I get stuck competing with this annoying little rich boy? Drat it. That's funny. Okay. Let's see how this goes for the rest of this. Okay, eight seconds left. Let's just set it to 230 rupees and pretty much win instantly. What? I used to be called Miss Auction. I can't lose now. Some of these things that they have to say is really funny. Is this the end? And sold. We get the swift sail. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be extremely, extremely helpful. Thanks to the expert sailing, sail making craftsmanship, your sail can now sail faster than ever. Your ship can sail faster than ever. And what's better, whenever you use it, a favorable wind always will be at your back. No need to manually change the wind direction. Voyaging has never been more efficient. My dear, how incredible. Oh my goodness. I could actually get the other treasure chart while I'm here, I guess. But now we have the swift sail, we can always just sail at full speed. Don't need to worry about changing wind direction. It's just perfect. <coughs> and it looks cool too. But anyway. Let's get the six dollar, no five rupee. True chart, I guess. Since that shouldn't be too bad. Yep. 
It's a Mario. Joy Pendant? What? I've been ripped off. I don't really need a Joy Pendant. I'm gonna back out. Yes, I am. That's interesting that they put that there. But anyway, let me try that again. Since it's got a couple things that you can get from it. I hope that this treasure chart is the last thing that I need to actually get from the auction. As fun as the auction can be to win, I just want to get the stuff and go at this point. Joy Pendant again? Is this... Did I get all the stuff? Or is it just... You know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna leave. Maybe... I, maybe the... I don't know. I feel like the... The, tr the treasure chart just... Became more expensive for some reason. I don't know. Anyway. Let's go check out one more thing before we go on. Let's go in here. Because it is time to spend the last of my rupees on this little mini game here. Hey, welcome. It's 10 rupees per game for kids. You want to play or what? Yeah. Yeah, okay then. Uh, ahem. Welcome to the fleet. I am the great Admiral Dovalski. Look sharp for the... Uh, we, uh, we are the sole protectors of this island. Admiral, red alert! All hands on deck! Sonar shows that schools of deadly giant squid are approaching. All ships prepare for battle. What? Where? Ah, ho! Oh, I see. As if the fiends approach. There are... <laughs> three squid groups. I'm dying. A large one, a medium one, and a small one. If we allow them to come any closer, the children on the island will be in grave danger. Sailor, take command of our new radar system to seek out and sink all these fiendishly hidden enemies. But be warned, you have only 24 cannonballs that you can fire to destroy the uh, <laughs> marauding squid pods. You must score four direct hits on the large, three on the medium, and two on the small. Use the control stick to move cursor and press A to fire cannonball blast. You may aim, may aim be true. That is all. That is all the information instruction you need. Is that clear, sailor? I, I, sir. Excellent. So far, best sailor has managed to destroy all of the giant squid. Using only 20 cannonballs, may you fight... Uh, may, you, may you fight as bravely. Okay, time to absolutely mess this up. I don't remember. I don't have any strategy, so I'm just gonna... Shoot. Okay, so we hit one. Okay, we're taking out one. That one was the two squid. That one was the three. Okay. And that's the four one. We did take too many shots though, to get the high score. But still. Excellent work, Verk Thaler. Your deeds have successfully protected the peace on this fair island. We are so very proud. The children on the island would like to thank you, Sailor. Hooray! Yay! Yay! Oh, thank you, Mr. Sailor. Please take this piece of heart as a sign of our gratitude. You are so great. So we get a piece of heart. So, uh, thanks for playing and all that. I can't tell you how much fun it's been for me. And, uh, don't forget your umbrella or nothing on your way out the door. Cool. Can I do it again, please? <laughs> okay. That's a lot faster this time. Let's... Try
try to get this in under the amount of cannonballs. Oh my goodness, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good at all. Um, there's something. I'm not gonna get this at all. I don't even need to worry about aiming. Why? Uh, b b bad news, uh, sailor, the enemies have retreated or something. Ten rupees wanna play again? Okay. Sploosh kaboom. Okay, that's good. Because that means that they're both there. That's a three. And that's a four. Oh my goodness, 17. How did I get that so fast? That was the third try. Excellent work, sailor. Your deeds have successfully protected the peace on this isle of fair island. We are so very proud. The children on the island would like to thank you, sailor. Hooray, yay! <laughs> it's just such a great sound of him doing that. This is our thanks to you. It's been passed down on our island for many years, so don't tell the island elder, okay? Here, please accept this treasure chart. Let me get a treasure chart. <laughs> cool. Whoa, wait a sec, 17. Hey, that's a new record. So, uh, you get this too. And we get another treasure chart! So, uh, thanks for playing and all that. I can't tell you how much fun it's been for me, and, uh, don't forget to, uh, yeah, you're good. You know the drill. Anyway. <laughs> that's, I'm pretty sure that's everything from that that we needed to get. So, uh... Let's make it daytime, I guess. And we can probably get out of here with our swift sail. Oh my goodness, Swift Sail. So now that we have the Swift Sail and the Ballad of Gales, I think that's what it's called, we can now teleport between the important islands and also sail at full speed. So we are set. We are extremely set. Oh no, old man. Poor, poor man. I need to get away from this uh, beggar. Uh, you, you know, the, you know the drill. Um. Let's actually go, I guess, to the Forsaken Fortress. But also, I need to check the charts that I just got, since I got a few. Okay, that's a reef. That is... Actually, not that far away, but also not in the right direction I'm going. 23. I don't remember where exactly that is. But also, I don't think it's anywhere near here. How do we have this many? That's actually quite near as well. Actually, no, the other one that I mentioned before that I said was in the wrong direction is actually in the right direction. Another reef. Dragon roost. Okay. Let's go on our way. But now we can press A again to switch to swift sail, and we go so much faster. Oh my goodness. And we also have the wind following us at all times. This is just so good. It's incredible. We're going so fast. Look how fast we're going! Oh, it's so good. So good. Any journey that took us a while now is going to take us no time at all, especially since we can teleport. But anyway, I need to check a few other islands as we go. Oh, it feels so good. Now, can I do anything here? It looks like I can, actually. It looks like there's also a eyed squid here as well. Now, where's the chew jelly? Because there's always a chew jelly, a blue chew jelly, I'm pretty sure, on on the what's it called? Great Fairy Isles. Speaking of Great Fairy Isles, I need to actually get the chip map, map for this place, so I need to remember to do that. Young Waker of the Winds, allow me to aid you in your quest. Oh, 
We can now carry more rupees. You can now hold up to 5,000. Oh my goodness. Also, it looks like... Like, looking at this fountain, it, you can tell it's had a bit of inspiration from Ocarina of Time, but also that uh, Breath of the Wild had inspiration from this by the looks of it. For their fairy fountains. With the backdrop, at least. And kind of circle design with the bit leading up to it. So yeah. It's interesting the progression in Zelda games and how design choices evolved. Now, I need to get the island picture chart thing. And I can sail at full speed to find it. Kind of. Actually sailing too fast at this point. Can I set the thing to default? I don't think I can. I think I just have to press it twice. Okay. Um, where is the thing? Also, I need to equip some bait. Actually, I'm running out of bait, so I might need to buy some more of that. Where is fish? There is fish. It's so nice being able to just sail at full speed. In any direction. No more changing the wind. Also, it can go at angles that it couldn't go before, I guess, because it always... Always has to be behind us, which means we can get the in-between... The in-between... Directions. Oh my goodness. Anyway. There's Northern Fairy Island, which looks like a heart. The little shopmaster on Windfall Island apparently got his hands on a truly amazing treasure. He calls it magic armor or something like that. It's a it's a pretty cool magical relic from what I've heard. If you want to give him uh, him to give it to you, try staring deep into his eyes and winning him over with flattery, Fry. Ah ha ha! And that's all the info I've got to offer. Okay, where am I going? I need to go south if I can. I think it's south. I might be wrong, actually. That's actually something else. I'm gonna go... West? Yeah, west. Gonna go over to this island on our way. Hang on. No. Ah, go away. Gonna go to this island over here. First. Which we can see over there. Also, we can see a... Submarine over here, which I could check out. With some rafts next to it. I don't know if I need to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, let's grab that. Oh no! I got rid of the other one by knocking that one into it. Also, we killed that guy super fast. Which is kind of crazy. But anyway... Come to this one and grab that. I don't even need to fight you. Just need to grab that, and I don't need to fight you either. Let's get into this submarine, which is a barrel. And let's see what's in here. Okay, I see what's happening here. We have four moblins down there, so I might want to avoid going down there if I can. But also, we can swing across here to get to a treasure, maybe. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. I might just go up this ladder, please. Also, they're attacking each other, which is funny. Because they can do that. Please, thank you. Also, I'm too high on this rope now. I need to stop and go down if I can. I hope I don't actually have to fight them to get the treasure. That was a great jump in there somewhere. Okay, treasure. What is this treasure? I don't know if this is required or not. I just know it's a thing from randomizers. 
It's a treasure chart, so that's cool. <laughs> that's good. Let me just check that. Treasure chart 22. Ah, uh, we're not near that. Anyway, let's go down here and fight these guys because I want their... the skull necklaces. Please grab... Nope. Oh, he's dead. Wow. Ah! They're attacking each other. I think all of the skull necklaces have been grabbed by this point. There we go. That was fast. I guess they did do a lot of dam the damage to themselves. But anyway, let's grab all that rupees. Oh my goodness. And this... Submarine is complete, basically. We could probably grind skull necklaces if we really wanted to. And since there are four of them, they'll probably hit each other more than anything else. But anyway, we need to go to the island, because this is where a treasure is for us to get. And then the Forsaken Fortress is just that... Just there, basically. Um... Oh, there's also an outpost. I might want to check that. Well, look out, that's what it is. Ah, uh, but there's the treasure that we need to get. So let's do that. And I probably should also... Oh, be careful because there's bombs. I'm just gonna... Be very careful. Uh-oh. Oh, I went too far. Okay, stop. Go. There we go. Silver Rupee worth 200. Very nice. Also, I think I can actually do something on this island as well, so... There is no limit to what we can do right now. Pretty much. Let me get this, uh, fish and the lookout first, though. There's so many things to do. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Boy, small fry. What is this island known as? Star Island. I heard that somewhere around out in the wide world is a handy arrow that can freeze anything. With something like that, you could even freeze that nasty monster in the Forsaken Fortress. For a while, anyway. But then what would you do with a frozen monster, you say? Good question, Fry. Why, I'd say you just give that thing a whack and watch it shatter into tiny pieces, teeny tiny pieces. And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait on the water for me. Sorry, but that's my policy, Fry. I can't go fighting evil on an empty stomach, you know. And with that, I'm off. What does he mean by freezing enemies on the Forsaken Fortress? I don't know. But what I do know is that we can actually do what he's talking about right now, but I'm also not going to do it until after Forsaken Fortress, so... Let's go up here... and take out this... lookout. Because not only can we take out the enemies on an outpost to possibly get a trove chest, but we also need to take out the cannons, which you could be on your boat to shoot at them. But there's a, a much easier way, thanks to randomizers, that people probably generally use. Hopefully. I would hope so. Just need to get all those draw pendants and take them out super fast. Remember, that was the, the boss slash mid-boss of the Forsaken Fortress the first time we went there. That green one. Golden Feather. Ah, uh, but we need... We can actually destroy the, the cannons from up here. If I can actually see where they are. Okay, there's one there. Nope, that's the wrong spot. That's fine. We can only have three bombs out at a time as well, so that's something we need to keep in mind. Just need to put put them on the four corners. And that should explode all the cannons from up here. But apparently this doesn't drop anything for destroying all those. But that's okay, because we got the treasure chest up here. And that's what really matters, is getting the treasure chest, because we've already done that. 
Okay, I guess I can check out this island very quickly. And I do believe that there is a withered tree here. They're just all over the place, apparently. The withered trees. Also, I believe this... I didn't mean to press that. Oh, well. This island also has... Um, mini blends. That will be annoying. Can I throw that, please? Thank you. I love how far out the camera can zoom. Right now. Oh dear. Mini blends. It's fine. It's fine. I'm super strong because, oh my goodness. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Too many mini, mini blends. Get in the hole. Okay, we have an enemy room here. Which is interesting. But we have also got the Master Sword, so let's just go through everything. Oh, I want that though. And I want that. Well, you're dead. Countering them just instantly kills them anyway, so. But anyway, after killing them, more enemies appear. Because this is an enemy room. And I could probably take their joy pendants. But I don't know if I really need them. I might actually. Let me get that out so I can get them. Since there are more and more and more stuff spawning in. And it possibly might be a bad idea to actually fight all these enemies right now. Having a bow is super useful. Okay, what's next? Oh, cool, moblins. Your sex escalated quickly. Oh my goodness, they just drop off. Give me that, and give me that. That was working out super well for some reason. Oh my god, it's dodge. Perfect. Pretty much. It was close. But anyway, that's all the enemies, so we get a treasure chest. And also the joy pendants and the skull necklaces and all that good stuff, so. See what we get. Get a piece of heart! That's pretty good. We also get some more rupees, which is also going to help. Since we can hold up to 5,000 now. And the rupee's red next to our rupee count, so. It's very cool. Where's my boat? 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 Where is it? I'm completely zoomed out. I can't see it. There it is. It's always hiding, just in plain sight. But anyway. Now onto the Forsaken Fortress. But also, ah, bombs. But also, that is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.